Okay, so in this part, we are going to start with modeling the bonnet or the hood, as some people would call it, which is this part over here. And let me load in an actual picture of the vehicle so we get to see exactly how the bonnet needs to be. So you can see this is how the bonnet looks like and we have to create the exact thing. But just before then, let's enable some add-ons to assist us with the modeling. So come over to edit and preferences and select add-ons. And in the search bar here, the first add-on I want to enable would be F2. So type in F2 and you would find this add-on called Mesh F2. So Check this box to activate it select this x to cancel that and the next add-on will be um, loop tools so type in loop and you will find loop tools let's activate that and the next one would be bool tool so type in bool okay activate that and let's select this bugger icon and uncheck the auto save preferences so we get to do this manually and select save preferences okay so next let's load in a plane so with shift a come to mesh and add in a plane and press tab to go into edit mode and i want to merge all these four vertices into a single vertex so with everything selected press a to make sure that the whole plane is selected press m and choose at center to collapse all the vertices into a single vertex at the center so when i press g to grab you can see it's just a single vertex i'm moving around because that's the only vertex in the viewport okay so right click to snap that back let's go to our front view and i'm gonna press g to grab that vertex over here let's zoom in to see it better so I'm going to align it over here. Let's go to top view. And you can see it's way back here. So press G and Y to move it forward to that exact point as the front view. So G, Y, let's move it back a bit here. Okay, back to front view. I'm going to press E to extrude a single vertex over here let's go to top view and gy let's bring it forward here like so let's select these again let's go to our front view and i'm going to extrude one here and extrude another here and the last one i'm going to extrude it here and let's go to our top view and just let's align this properly so press gy let's move these back it's like these also gy let's bring it over here and let's select this last one and bring it here too and i know the quality of the blueprint is very very bad but don't worry we will get everything done as long as we follow the right um, outlines and we also have these reference to assist us with exactly what we need to do so I'm gonna select these again let's go to side view by pressing 3 and I think that's a little bit way too much back so let's bring it forward a bit here and press E to extrude one here like this E again to extrude another one here and make sure it's aligning with these other vertex let's go to our top view and press G to grab and let's bring it over here let's just place it on this outline here okay so I'm going to press E to extrude another one placing it here and let's extrude the last one 
over here. Let's go to front view. And with G and Z, let's bring this down just a little bit. We can move it here like so. Select these and let's grab it here too. select these we can bring it down a bit and this can also come down to as well let's go to side view and let's push it forward a bit okay so next I'm going to box select these two vertices and press F to create a face there let me get out of wireframe so you can see so you can see a face has been created to fill this space here and I'm gonna press F again to fill it all the way here and next select this vertex and press E and let's extrude one here along this outline let's extrude another here like so And last one bring it over here and let's go to front view and let's align this in place so bring this up select these let's also bring it here select these GZ let's bring it here like these also GZ and let's bring it here well, we let's go to our side view so we can see it better so GZ bring it up like this and this last one let's align it here as well and next I'm going to go to top view and let me see okay let's go to top view select these and let's extrude a single vertex here and place it on this outline make sure it aligns with these other vertex and I can select these and let's push it in just a little bit because you can see there is a kind of a curve here and that's what we want to create here as well okay so we can even send it up as well and GX let's push it in a bit more select these and let's send it up a bit let's go to our side view and select this again GY let's bring it back to align it again with this outline go back to the top view select these let's extrude one here another here and with this last vertex still selected I'm going to select this one and let's press F to join them together let's go to our side view and or should we go to front view okay let's go to front view and select these GZ let's bring it down select these also GZ let's bring it down and make sure they all rest on this outline it shouldn't come to downwards or to upwards just place it directly on the outline there select these GZ bring it let's move this upwards a bit and we can also move this up a bit as well okay so you can see it follows this outline here perfectly all right let's go back to our top view um, I'm gonna select this vertex and moving your cursor over here press F to create a face like this and just align it properly let's go to side view and let's go into wireframe and I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit to align to this outline here back to top view select this and press F like so Select these also, press F. 
and press F. And with this last one, I'm gonna press F and let's align it here. All right, let's go to side view. And I'm going to press GZ. Let's move this over here. Select these also. GZ, let's bring it here. And let's also move these up as well. Okay. I'm going to select these and let's extrude it along the X axis over here. So extrude one here. Extrude another here. Extrude one to this point here. And the last extrusion would be all the way to the middle here. Like so. Let's go to our top view and let's push this forward just to align them properly. So let's bring this with GY here. Select this GY. Let's bring it here. These also. Bring it forward. And this last one, I'm also going to bring it here as well. We can bring this a little bit more forward. Let's go to our side view. And it's looking okay. Back to front view. I'm going to select these and let's extrude along the Z axis over here. Go to top view and GY. Let's send that back as well. Okay, let's go to side view and it's looking okay. All right. So I'm going to select these two vertices and let's press F to join them together. And select these other two and press F to fill that face. Select these vertex and let's extrude one here. Okay, like so. Let's extrude these one here too. Make sure they all align to each vertex below. And let's extrude these over here. All right, so with these still selected, I'm also gonna select this one over here and let's press F to join them together and select these other two and press F to fill that face. I'm gonna select these two and let's press F all the way till they are filled completely. Let's go to our top view and into wireframe and let's just align these in place. So select these and GY, let's push this forward here make sure it's on this outline select these also G Y bring it over here like these also G Y and let's bring it here as well I think it needs to come out a bit more so let's bring it here let's select these So next, I am going to select these vertex and let's extrude it over here like this. Extrude another here. Let's extrude another one here. And finally, the last one, let's extrude it to the middle. And let's go to our front view. And with GZ, let's move these upwards just slightly like these also let's move it upward just like these as well upwards and finally let's also move these upwards and going to my top view let's select these and let's press G twice to slide it over here we can even slide it Bit more just so it aligns to this outline here go to top view and I'm going to extrude one here making sure that each vertex we extrude aligns to each vertex over here okay so I can send it backwards a bit let's extrude another here 
and extrude another one here. And these, let's extrude it here. And finally, let's select these vertex and press F to join them together. Let's go back to front view. Or should we go to side view? Okay. Select these and GZ. Let's bring it just down like so. Like these also. GZ. Let's bring it down. GZ. Bring it down. Let's bring these down as well. And these also. Okay. Let's go to our front view. And I'm just going to align these properly on this outline. So I'm going to do that by pressing GX. Let's move these here. Select these also. GX. Let's bring it here just slightly. Select these. GX. Move it here. GX. These last one GX and let's align it like so. And let me just move these a bit more. Okay. Let's go to our top view. And I still want to align this properly from the top. So I'm going to select this and let's press G twice to slide it over here. Select this, press G, X, and let's bring it over here. Same thing with these. Bring it here too. And finally, let's bring these here. And I'm going to select these vertex and let's extrude one all the way here go to side view and with g z let's bring it down like so okay let's extrude another here g z let's bring it down bring this a little bit more down. bring this down too. G Z let's bring it down And I'm gonna add an edge loop here with Control R. Left click and let's drag our mouse to slide it here. And let's click to confirm that. And I'm gonna select these vertex. And with GY, let's push it out just a bit more. So, okay. And with these two selected, I'm also gonna select this vertex and let's press F to join them together. And I'm gonna select these and these and let's press F all the way like so and go to our front view and I feel this needs to come down a little bit more So with this vertex still selected, I'm also going to select this one here and press F to join them together. Let's go to our front view and you can see this vertex is a little bit upwards than this and it needs to come down. So I'm going to select it and with GZ, let's bring it down so that it aligns with 
these vertices here like it's a straight line here let's go back to our top view i'm gonna select these and also select these press f let's go to front view again select it and let's bring it down as well okay select these and also select these press f and i'm going to bring this down to and also bring this down as well let's select these and these press f and selecting these only i'm gonna press gz let's bring it down here okay okay let's press g and x and let's move this back to this outline g x let's move these And I'm going to add an edge loop here and let's slide it here. Add in another one here, let's slide it. And I'm going to select these four vertices, press F. Select these also, press F. And I'm going to select these two. And let's press F. We can slide these a bit more to the left. Select these and press F to create a face here. Gonna slide this backwards a bit. Next, I'm also gonna add an edge loop here. Let's slide it here. Another edge loop. Slide it here. And the last one, let's add it here. And pressing these and these, I'm gonna press F twice to fill it all the way here. Let's just repeat the same thing here. Okay, and let's add in an edge loop here and slide it here. And what are we gonna do? Hmm, our edge loop has to come here. So I'm going to select these and press F, move that and let's see if it's aligned, yes it is, and selecting these and these, I'm going to press F and select these two, press F. So all we have to do now is to slide these vertices so they are aligned prop properly. So let's do that by selecting these, press G twice. Let's slide it here. Let's slide this back here. I think we can move this upward slightly and bring this downwards a bit. These two, let's bring it down. back to top view and let's continue aligning these so e e to slide 
Things PG. Let's go into object mode and let's right click and shade smooth this. And if you're having this shading, this weird shading, so it's because your normals have been flipped. To correct that, let's go back into edit mode, press A to select everything and press shift N to recalculate the normals. And everything has been corrected. And the next thing I'm going to do, I want to add in a subdivision surface modifier to smooth out everything here so come to the modifier stuff here which is this range icon select that and select add modifier and let's add in subdivision surface and i'm gonna increase this to two and next let's also add in a mirror modifier so come over and choose mirror and Blender has automatically mirrored this side of the mesh to the other side. All right, so let's go to top view. And in the modifiers tab, I'm going to select the mirror modifier and bring it up just above the subdivision surface. And let's go back into edit mode. And in the mirror modifier, I'm going to enable clipping because let me disable clipping to show you. When I select these middle vertices here and press G, X, you see it's, it intersects itself to the other side, which we don't want. So to have it clipping with itself, we have to enable clipping. So when I press G, X, it's, it can't move anymore. Let's select these and just make sure that it's clipped. Okay. Perfect. And the next thing I want to do is to fill this space over here. So to do that, I'm going to select these two vertices and press F till it fills to this point. And you can see we have two vertices here. So I'll have to add two edge loops so that we can align them to each vertex. So I'm going to do that with Control R and add the first edge loop and scroll upwards on your mouse wheel to add in the second and left click twice to confirm that and I'm gonna add in one more here and select these two vertices and press F to create a face here and let's add in the last edge loop here and confirm that select these other two vertices and press F like so so next, I just want to align this properly. So press G twice and let's slide this a bit more and slide these two. Okay. I think we can grab this upward slightly and let's bring this down a bit more. Let's go back into edit mode and in top view, I'm going to select this vertex and let's press F to create a face here. Let's go to front view. Okay. Select these also and let's repeat these. like so and for here okay let me add an edge loop here and we can slide these over here right F and move it along the 
X to clip to the center. So press F and X and move it to the middle. Let's dissolve this vertex with Ctrl X. Let's select this and this and let's press F. Fill that there. And let's add in a loop cut here. And let's add another one here. like this and let's move it backwards here and grab it up selecting these two going to slide them here and let's bring them down like so First to, to go into edge selection and let's dissolve these edges here. So I'm going to do that by holding Alt and left clicking to select all these edges and press Ctrl X to dissolve them. You can see some creases on the bonnet. Let's begin to add them as well. So I'm going to select this edge and holding control, I'm going to select this one and also this. And let's bevel them with control B. And I'm going to add one more segment to it just by scrolling up on your mouse wheel. Like so. Let's select these other edges together with these. And holding control again, I'm going to select this last edge here. And let's give them a bevel too. too tight just something like this so as you look at this part of the vehicle you can see that there is a crease over here but as it flows in this direction upwards it seems to disappear the crease seems to disappear so let's see how we can copy that so I'm going to select these two edges and holding shift also gonna select this and holding control I'm gonna select this last edge here to select everything and let's bevel that with control B and I'm just going to scroll upwards to add one more segment to it and let's click to confirm so you can see it has two segments okay so I'm going to try and copy this exact um, part here to do that I'm going to select this edge and holding control I'm going to select this edge too and let's press G twice to slide them all the way here and let's see how that's looking from this side we still have a crease here so let's select this edge this one and holding control also gonna select this one and let's press G twice and slide it or slide them away let's see okay that seems to work well Let's go into vertex selection 
and here we have to to align this vertices as well so I'm gonna select these let's press GY move it forward let's move this forward too let's try and see how we can straighten them out okay that's that's okay for now And you can see over here, there's also a crease, but it's not that tight. So let's also add that. I'm going to press Ctrl and R, add an edge loop here. And we select this from here. I'm holding Ctrl, let's also select these. And let's slide them away. You can also select these and holding control. Let's select these and also slide away. Okay, so I think for now let's just keep whatever we've got as it is with time any corrections we have to make we will add that so i'm gonna bring this part to an end and as always please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and also share the link with your friends whom you think might love to follow along as well leave your comments if you have any question regarding the tutorial don't hesitate to also leave it as well and I will try my best to answer any question that you put out. So see you in the next part.